Hey guys, so I've got another tutorial. This is slightly different to what I normally do, but this is just going to be giving you some tips on how you can speed up your PC. My um, overall first tip, I'd say, is that you want to get yourself a, a solid state hard drive if you possibly can. And they're a lot quicker than conventional hard, hard disk drives. Um, they have usually got less space and they're more expensive, but they've got such a higher read and write speed, which means if you install Windows on it, it you know, it'll boot up instantly, or if applications that you install, and a good example would be the um, Samsung 840 Evo which is you know a budget sort of range solid state drive but top class if you need to you know upgrade something and make your machine you know significantly faster now another sort of good tip to use is driver updates you need to you know often make sure that um, windows drivers are all up to date and you can use the windows update function within your computer to do that and make sure that your graphics drivers are always up to date and you can do that on your manufacturer's website or, you know, using the update that comes maybe with either NVIDIA or AMD's cards. Another great way to sort of speed it up is um, if you've actually got a lot of stuff on your hard drive, say you've got a one terabyte hard drive, or even on your solid state drive, the more you've got on the hard drive, the slower it will get because it's got to search through more files to get to your files that you want to use day by day. So, you know, if you want to install um, programs that you don't use anymore, and you know clean up those you know previous installations and even get rid of old documents old files old videos old photos and just delete some space if you clear up a bit of space it will speed up your PC in the process um, once you've done sort of all that maybe uninstalled some programs um, you know done all your updates you want to try and do um, a disk defrag in a case of if you've got a hard disk drive, not not so much if you've got a solid state drive. Some problems with that, but with your hard disk drive, if you you know do a defrag, analyze your disk, you might find that some of the space has been you know not used properly. A good way to sort of describe um, defragging is if your hard drive is say made up of ten blocks. Save some files, you install some programs. It takes up every single one of those ten blocks, so that you've got no more space anymore. Say you delete. A document from the hard drive and that only take took up one block for example you'd have one space there and say you wanted to install um, another program or save another file and that took up three blocks you might need to, it then would just put it straight on the end in a sequence so that one block is still there missing at the beginning and when you defrag your hard drive it pushes everything up so it you know fits all together so your hard drive essentially will run quicker and so it can search much easier and one of the actual last ways i would care to mention that it's just a sort of extra thing that you can do about again saving space on your hard drive is that you can use a program called um, windows directory statistics and it'll analyze all the space on your hard disk drive it'll tell you where all the space has been taken up so you can see maybe if adobe is hidden some um, renders like mine does sometimes on premiere and you need to delete the sort of old caches of it you can even um, disable the hibernation file that sometimes is on your computer and that can save around 10 gigabytes of space and um, plagues me a little bit for my solid state hard drive so you know if you clean that up bits and um, pieces can make a whole lot of difference in terms of performance another extra tip would be probably using programs like um, an antivirus program or an anti-malware program to get rid of things that might be you know hiding somewhere on your computer so spy bot search and destroy uh, malware bytes and also a program like ccleaner which will you know take everything on your hard drive that might be temporary or you know internet files or things like that that can easily be you know save you some space so this was just a sort of quick rundown of some tips where you know you really can speed up your computer um, most primarily with the um, solid state hard drive but you know if you take any of these tips in combination you know you can really put the wind back in your computer sails so to speak so thanks very much for watching and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers